welcome to online classes on educational sociology today we shall discuss on meaning of globalization and its impact on education meaning of globalization the term globalization may be defined as the process of intensification of worldwide socio-economic relations in which the planet is considered to be one single unit or a global village. The term global village was used for the first time by Marshall McLuhan 1962. In globalization, economic aspect was initially given more priority with the free flow of goods and services. But later on, other fields such as culture, polity, education started getting priority in globalization. Globalization started after the World War II, more prominently with the collapse of Soviet Union and the rise of World Trade Organization. Definitions now we shall see some definitions of globalization. J. Knight and Hans defined globalization as the flow of technology, economy, knowledge, people, values, ideas across borders. It means there is no difficulty in exchanging the technology, economic goods, knowledge, etc. from one country to another. The UN Development Report 1999 explains globalization as Globalization is not new, but the present era has distinctive features. Shrinking space, shrinking time, and disappearing borders are linking people's life more deeply, more intensely, more immediately than ever before. Here, an example of shrinking space and time can be due to fast communication it takes fractions of sec seconds to send a message from one corner of the world to another which gives us a feeling that as if there is no national border. N. Yates in 2002 says Globalization is an extensive network of economic, cultural, social, and political interconnection and process which routinely transcend national boundaries. Here, Yates includes cultural, social, and political aspects too, apart from economic aspect in globalization. International Monetary Fund IMF defines globalization as the growing economic interdependence of countries worldwide through increasing the volume and variety of cross-border transactions in goods and services and of international capital flows and also through the more rapid and widespread diffusion of technology. From the above definitions, it could be said that globalization is the ease of sharing economic and cultural resources and practices with other countries in the world due to improvements in transport and information communication technologies for strengthening the mutual relationships. Global International Institutions Some of the global international institutions which can be said as agents of globalization are World Trade Organization WTO, International Monetary Fund IMF, World Bank and 
United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO. World Trade Organization WTO 1995 is an organization that supervises and liberalizes international trade. International Monetary Fund IMF provides policy advice and financing to member countries in economic difficulties. World Bank provides loans to developing countries in order to reduce poverty. United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO contributes international collaboration in education, science and culture in order to increase universal respect for justice, law, human rights and fundamental freedom. Impact of Globalization in Higher Education Now we shall discuss the impact of globalization in higher education. Access to learning materials and methodologies not easily available in one's own country. For example, it is due to globalization that we can access learning materials such as the doctoral thesis of foreign universities from home. Access to teachers of the highest quality irrespective of national borders. For example, through video conferencing or MOOCs, we can hear from teachers of top universities of the world or any other resource person. Exposure to global curricula. For example, we can get access to the curriculum of any discipline of the top universities of the world. Scope for international employment market. For example, students started getting jobs in foreign IT firms after completing their studies in IITs. Improvement of quality of education through competition. For example, there is now global ranking of educational institutions on the basis of quality and universities of various countries will try to come to the top of the list by improving their quality. Availability to faculty and scholars, research facilities of high order through collaborative arrangements with other countries. For example, there is student exchange programs where students can visit foreign universities for academic purposes. There are also visiting faculties in universities who come from various countries. Use of information and communication technology ICT for domestic and global delivery of educational programs. For example, MOOCs which are educational programs using ICT provided by any university in the world and learned by anyone in the world. Reduction of knowledge gap in different countries. For example, research findings are used by other countries in order to do further research on the topic. Development of international understanding. For example, globalization has impacted education to frame one of its aim as international understanding because all human beings are basically connected to each other. If a certain portion of the population in one country suffers, the rest of the people in the world should feel the pain and come forward to help. Promotion of understanding of different languages. For example, due to the importance of globalization, we see the schools of humanities and languages in various universities where foreign language departments are set up for understanding their culture. Thank you.